What's going on YouTube? It's Tyler the Antenna Man. Today I'm going to talk about how to properly ground an outdoor TV antenna. There are actually two parts of grounding a TV antenna. The first part is to ground the mass that it's mounted on, which prevents static buildup, which can attract lightning. And the second part is to ground the coaxial cable, which in case God forbid it does take a lightning strike, it routes the lightning to the ground rod rather than inside your house. Now before I get into the specifics on how to properly ground the antenna, I just want to make a general note for everyone watching this video. I've had a lot of people ask me about indoor antennas and what the best indoor antenna is because they don't want to deal with mounting antenna outside. Television signals do not do a good job penetrating through building material. And I've been in many instances where people were using an indoor antenna and when I mount an antenna outside, I nearly doubled or tripled the amount of channels they had. So if you're watching this video and thinking, oh, you know, I'll just use an indoor antenna, think again outdoor is the best way to go now don't let the thought of lightning striking your TV antenna deter you from mounting it outside and getting as many free channels as possible the chances of a lightning strike are incredibly rare and I drive around and see antennas mounted on people's houses that aren't properly grounded have they been struck by lightning no however you do want to properly ground your outdoor antenna just to prevent a lightning strike and also if lightning does decide to take the path of your TV antenna it goes directly to the ground rod outside your house rather than inside your house and through all all of your valuable electronics. Now, assuming that you already have the antenna set up, there are a few parts that you will need to properly ground the antenna. You'll need a ground clamp for the mast, and depending on how thick the pipe is, you'll either need the one to the left or the one to the right in this picture. You also need a ground rod clamp or two split bolts, depending on what kind of grounding system is set up outside your house, 10 AG copper wire, and a ground block for the coaxial cable. You may also need a pair of wire cutters if you don't have any already. I've included specific links to each of these parts in the description of my video along with my store on Amazon which includes recommended antennas, preamplifiers, and other accessories. Here's a diagram that represents a proper grounding setup on an outdoor TV antenna. You can see there is a wire running from the mast to the ground rod along with a wire running from the coaxial cable to the ground rod. You're gonna cut and expose about a quarter inch of the 10 gauge copper wire and then connect it to the clamp that goes on the mast. You'll then want to run the 10 gauge wire to where your grounding system is. Cut and expose the copper about half an inch and connect it to your ground system using either a split bolt as you see here or a ground rod clamp. You now have the mast properly ground but you will still need to ground the coaxial cable. Use a ground block to connect the coaxial cable from your TV antenna to another coaxial cable that's going into your house. Cut another segment of the 10 gauge wire and connect the one end to the coaxial ground block as you see here and the other end to your ground rod. Referring back to the diagram, you can now see that the antenna is properly grounded with both the coaxial cable and the mast. So there you go. This is how you properly ground an outdoor TV antenna according to National Electric Code. Now many of you may not have a ground rod or any kind of grounding system that you can see outside your house. Some of you may have utilities that come in from underground. And if this is the case, you can also ground the TV antenna by using a corner clamp to the service box where your electrical panel is. Now technically this is not National Electric Code approved, but it still does ground the antenna because your utilities are supposed to be grounded as well. In fact, I've seen many cable and satellite companies use this method to ground either the dish or the coaxial cable leading into the house. Again, it's technically not National Electric Code approved because your utility company can disconnect you if you don't pay your bill and then the antenna isn't grounded. But as long as you pay your bills on time and you have active electric in your house, it technically is grounded. Make sure you check out my store on Amazon for recommended antennas, preamplifiers, coaxial cables, and grounding accessories, which you can visit at amazon.com slash shop slash antenna man. Also check out my other videos for TV reception tips, reviews of antennas and preamplifiers, and subscribe to my channel for more cord cutting updates and have an awesome day.